Well, hey there, Shooby Doodlers. You may have seen my new channel advert, and Ethan Hancock did, and he said in a comment, Shoo, that was amazing. Are there any tips you could give me on what equipment to buy? Since you're really good, so who better to ask? Thank you. Well, Ethan, you really don't need a lot to start drawing with. You can, you can draw with a stick in the sand if you really have to. Basically, all you need is a pencil and a piece of paper. The back of a letter will do. I've been so desperate to draw sometimes. I have used ballpoint pens on train tickets and I, I even use sort of burnt matches and use them to draw on the back of an envelope. It's not what you use to make the drawing, it's how you draw and how you draw it. Now that takes time and patience and practice, but most of all, it takes motivation to get up and get started. There is no better way to procrastinate than to say, I haven't got the right equipment. That's rubbish. Go and get a free pencil from Ikea or somewhere and rip open a packet of cornflakes and draw on the inside. However, trying and buying fancy new kit is part of the fun and the journey of learning to draw. Most artists have drawers full of stuff. I do, <laughs> but they tend to keep coming back to their old tried and trusted favourite tools and media. But getting cool new stuff can get you motivated because you want to try stuff out and see how it works. Now you'll see on my videos I keep coming back to the Derwent Graphic Pencil and this is a 6B which is really nice and soft. You press lightly and you get a light drawing. If you press hard you get a dark drawing. <laughs> then I like a nice soft eraser. This is a Derwent Art Eraser. And the pen that you see me drawing with again and again and again is the Rotary Tiki Graphic. The reason I like this pen is that when it dries, it is waterproof. And that's really important to me because I like painting over the top in watercolour. If the ink is waterproof, it means that the ink doesn't kind of bleed into the watercolour and make it all dirty. Now, when it comes to paper, I'm quite happy using photocopy paper for most things while I'm practising and trying things out. Uh, this is cheap multi-purpose paper from Morrison's, which is a supermarket chain here in the UK. But cartridge paper, as we call it here in the UK, or Bristol board paper, I think you call it in the US, uh, is much higher quality and will kind of tend to make you work a little bit more carefully. I use this quite a lot. It's Derwent watercolour paper. Um, it's quite thick, which is 300 grams or 140 pounds. Um, but you don't need to have anything terribly special. As I said, part of the fun is trying out lots of different papers and pens and pencils and see what suits you and your style best. I like these ones. It's not a moleskin. Moleskins are really quite expensive, but it does have that nice little pocket at the back for hiding things in. What have I got there? Entrance to the Magritte Museum in Brussels. Mm. So um, th this has really quite cheap paper, actually, which is not the best paper in the world. I'll take this around with me and uh, draw stuff that I see and uh, I have ideas and things like that. And because it's quite cheap, then it's not too precious. And so, so I just kind of draw quickly in it. And I, I'm not, not trying to do great works of art, a sketchbook. It's, it's just that it's a sketch. It's there to, when you see something, get it down quick to remind you. And then you can go back and work on it later. I also have these, which are made by CY to Brighton. And it's got acid-free, 140 gram, extra wet strength. So there's actually watercolour paper in here as well you could use. And I, I use this kind of in the studio as these are workbooks where I kind of, because the paper's that bit nicer, it makes me kind of slow down and, and take a bit more time while I'm designing things. So, so I have these kind of two different qualities to make me kind of work in two different ways, sort of quick and fast, slow and more serious. So there you go. That really is the absolute most you need to get drawing. If you've got that, you have no excuse not to sit down and start. Don't go and hide it away. Keep it out so that you can access it really quickly there and then and not have to think, oh, I got to spend an hour getting all my things out and laying it out on the table. Get your sketchbook out, get a pencil, draw. And getting down to drawing, that's the next thing. I'll talk to you about that in my next video. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you're raring to go, you can always go and click the link and go and do my Everyone Can Draw course or have a go at the mystery drawing. Either way, make sure you have clicked that link up at the top there and you can go up to Patreon and get step-by-step -step sheets, lots, lots more. Join my art school, why don't you? You can really get drawing there. In the meantime, 
keep drawing, drawing, drawing and practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.